Hi, I'm Lamont Bell, your host of Taking a Look Around. Today we're going to talk to the author of this book called From Games to God, and the author's name is Aaron Morris. And, and what, do you, what do you think in your mind that what area that the homeless people really need help with besides homes? Besides homes, that was good how you said that. Uh, this is just my opinion. Homeless people, and I say this because I spent 14 years of my life homeless. When I was 21 years old, look back at my life, I was 14 years of my life at 21, I spent homeless outside. So I would say hope, you know what I mean? Uh, self hope, you know I mean? It's one thing to not have a home, it's one thing to not have finances. But when you're in that situation and you have an idea of who you're supposed to be or or an idea of a status or, or a lifestyle that you should have, and you're not living that, it drains you. When you deal with this world or many people who are supposed to uh, work as social workers or public health aides or public aides, they, are, they, are, uh, they lack compassion, they, they, are, they are not respectful, you know what I mean? They act like your situation, whether it be poverty or, or bad health, it's your fault. You know what I mean? So it's more of a degrading yeah. re response to yes. the and, community. And by me being a person who has experienced homelessness and those different uh, uh, unfortunates or misfortunes, I, can't, I can never service the community that way. I will always have, a, 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 I will always have an understanding, a level of compassion for those people because they are me. I'm no different. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I always service people with the heart of trying to, for real, help or assist, because I'm assisting me. You know what I mean? Okay, this is Aaron Morris now. This is where Aaron Morris work at. We work for the St. Louis City Health Department. We need more people like Aaron Morris to be a pillar of the community and not a problem of the community. And next we have Grip Tight. Let's go see what's up with him. Uh, Marty, have you ever experienced any type of homelessness in your lifetime? I was, before I even hit knee high, I was real young. Me and my mom stayed in the homeless shelter, but through her will and courage, she got us out of there, and I haven't seen it since. You haven't seen? I haven't seen homelessness since. No. So she, she got us out of the situation. Amen. So if you were, if, if the power was in your hand, what would you do? to try to prevent homelessness for people. How would you help people to stay away from the edge of being homeless? Well, the only way really to prevent a situation is to prepare and be educated about it prior to the situation happening. So if I had a chance to spread the word and let people know about it, then I'm pretty sure we can prevent it. So do you think one of the key uh, solutions to homelessness is that we need to have an education revolution throughout the community yes you sir think, you think we need to uh, uh, tighten our grip and, 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 our, and our discipline on our kids to make them learn Most we have to make them learn we have to weed out these negative vibes in the neighborhood do you think we need to do that we do it's, like i say it's hard to help with a situation you know nothing about and a lot of people overlook the situation at hand and if your day is doing well, then you don't worry about the next man's day because your day is fine. So why should I worry about his? If we change that mentality and help the next man who may not be doing as well as yourself, then we can probably get somewhere in life in general. So you got to help each other. Whether or not it's Marty Griff, Tyler, Aaron Moore, these are two young men that completed that 180 degree turn back to the positiveness of their life. So with these two young men doing positive things, uh, we hope that we can all draw from their uh, uh, th their struggles in getting their life back together. And with that note, we'll see you next time on Take a Look Around. <laughs>